Hello everyone, in this video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to replace the knock sensor on your Subaru. Now this particular model here I have is a 99 Forester with a 2.5 liter uh, post 4 cylinder. Now the location of your knock sensor is just under the throttle body right directly down underneath the uh, intake manifold. Now normally what the common problems with the knock sensors are is they'll cause poor fuel mileage a uh, loss in power, sometimes a hesitation in throttle, and uh, hard start. So this is what I'm actually having here. And I already do have a couple check engine lights for it. And I have done a test on the sensor itself, and I have found it to be bad. Now, if you're wondering how the test is done, uh, I will post another video in the description below the link to it to do the test uh, yourself to ensure that the knock sensor is uh, faulty so you don't actually have to buy parts you don't need for the vehicle itself. Now, I think it's a little hard to see on the camera here, but the knock sensor itself is located right directly down from the linkage here. You can see it down at the bottom there. Now the bolt that's uh, used on here is a, uh, a 12 millimeter and I used a 3 inch and along with a 6 inch extension all attached together to be able to clear the uh, linkage and to get the ratchet in there all the way to the top here just so it's uh, more comfortable to work with. Now as for the plug itself, uh, I've already disconnected the plug here. You can see this is the plug that actually goes to the, uh, the vehicle's um, Electric, electrical harness and here's the plug itself which goes directly to the sensor. Uh, now the plug is just a small clip you just depress on the back side here and uh, just pull it straight out. Now when removing the knock sensor also you want to make sure, now they do specify it is 60 degrees uh, in accordance with the back of the motor here uh, but just remember the position you took it out is the position that the new sensor has to go in otherwise if it's in a different uh, different position what could happen is it could get faulty readings and uh, therefore uh, you'll notice a uh, lack in performance and whatnot. Now you can see the two sensors side by side uh, here's the old one here's the new one basically what we'll be doing will just be reinstalling the uh, new sensor in the same position as we took the old one out or in accordance with what the um, Subaru specifications are. Now just uh, down below there where the mounting surface is against the motor there now you also want to make sure uh, that that surface is actually clean down there so if it is a little uh, little corroded or whatnot uh, you can go with just an abrasive pad over top of it just to clean it up because you want to make sure the sensor itself is grounded. Now you can see on the back side here I'll just show you on the new sensor see there's a metal contact in behind it which does ground the sensor out uh, to give it a reading so I always want to make sure that is clean because you don't want to have to take it apart again and then have to clean that up a little while down the road after. So this is just kind of a preventative maintenance. Now as for the torque specifications on the bolt which holds the sensor on, uh, that is 17.8 foot-pounds. Now you want to make sure you do uh, torque this and not over tighten it uh, because it will affect the readings of the sensor itself. Now uh, when you're just connecting the wires back up you want to make sure they're not rubbing on anything so which cause future problems down the road. Uh, after that if you do have engine uh, engine light on, what you want to do is uh, either get a code reader or disconnect your battery and uh, just to uh, clear the codes itself uh, to ensure they don't come back up again. Uh, once everything's finished, uh, you should be ready to go. Now, thank you for watching my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel for further tutorial videos as well as rate this video. Thank you for watching.